Let's talk about personalizing the dashboard layout in NetSuite. So here's a standard layout that you would normally see. The default is a small column to the left and big column to the right with lots of spaces. To change the layout, click Layout and choose from the given format. This layout has two small columns, one on the left, one on the right, and a big column in the center. Here is a clean dashboard. It doesn't have anything set up yet. We only have settings which cannot be removed from the dashboard as a standard default. Click on Personalize in the upper right hand corner to start personalizing your dashboard. Here are the default portlets from NetSuite. We can customize our dashboard and add portlets based on what we need. If we do scheduling in NetSuite, we could add a calendar. To do that, click on Calendar to add it. Here is the calendar portlet we just added. Since the layout the default one is a small bar to the left and a big page to the right. It looks like this. We can change our calendar view to see day, week, month, and agenda. To do that, click on date and to add an event, call, or task. Another standard portlet is the KPI meter or key performance indicator meter. We can choose from the drop down menu on how we want to view it. You can see actual versus forecast, actual versus quota, forecast versus quota. Remember to view this, we actually need the data so that it will show up. We can set up all the portlets. Let's do an example and set up the KPI meter. Click on setup. We want a snapshot of sales versus forecast. Under range, it's a scroll down menu, so we want to select from there. If we know that we're looking for this on the list, you can just start typing instead of scrolling down to see it. Once you find the range that you want, save it. Let's add another portlet. Let's add the KPI scorecard and set it up. We would like to see the employee matrix and show the trend graph and save. This is how it would look. We have the employees matrix and it shows the trend. We can also add an RSS feed. You can see here and select it. NetSuite provides a default RSS feed like this from MarketWatch showing the top stories. We can set it up and change the source feed. We can have a custom one, so let's say Reuters as our source. We can add the file URL and put the number of links in there. Once we finish, this is what it looks like. It gives us the top story, stories from Reuters. Another customization on the dashboard are custom searches. We want to customize our search right on our dashboard. So click on Custom Search. If we want to see all the available searches, click Setup, and you can see all the standard available custom searches. In our example, we're going to do a custom search for Cases on Hold. So we're going to type in the title Cases on Hold, and next we're going to limit the results to 20. You can put in a lot more, but then of course there's a lot to screen through. If we want to, we can drill down inside a portlet or into a new page. That's an available setting. We also want to allow inline editing, uh, which allows us to edit records on the search results. The chart theme and the background types are settings for colors. We can keep it the default for now and click Save. What you see on screen are the cases on hold. In the dashboard, the moment we log in, we can click and see it. There's a refresh button on the upper right. When we hit refresh, it will show us new items. 
If we spot something that's not supposed to be in the on hold under status, since we're inline editing, we can quickly change it from here. Once we change the status from on hold to any other status and click refresh, it will no longer be there in the cases on hold list. Next, we can add trend graphs. Click on the trend graph and we can set it up. In our example, let's decide that we want to do a line chart for our KPI or key performance indicator. We want to do yearly revenue. The period to calculate the moving average, we want every two years, and then we hit save. It will give us our yearly revenue chart. So here we have a line chart that we started with, and it shows us our yearly revenue. We can then also change the form of what it looks like. So we can change from a line graph to a bar graph. The graph can also be changed to yearly, quarterly, or whatever period we want, and we can see the moving average and the revenue as well. So now we've added all of our portlets. We can fix the layout of the portlets. We can move the news on the right side. We can leave the revenue by period trend graph in the middle. Let's say that the calendar is important to us. So let's put it on the top left. Now we can see the calendar on the left and the graph in the middle and the news on the right. And if we scroll down, here are the custom searches and the KPI scorecard in the middle. It's completely customizable based on what we just did. Once we've completed all of our portlets and customizing how we want to see our dashboard, we can close the personalized menu on the upper right, and now we're done.